Dominic from Mower. You're checking out Mega Metal Magazine. Hi, I'm Brian from Mower. Checking out Mega Metal Magazine. Was that good? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, since we last talked to you guys, uh, you guys have uh, been at home, been kind of busy on the, the home base area. Can you fill us in on what you guys have been up to? Pottery class. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to make an ancient battery out of uh, orange juice and copper. Pottery. That's it. Yeah, we've actually been working a lot on uh, on slower. We've been putting a lot of focus in on that, and uh, we have been playing a lot of shows. Uh, we're we have a pretty stable fan base now. Um, we also uh, not mentally, just like <laughs> yeah. just like there's a lot of people on the show. Yeah, and uh, in addition to that, we've actually grown as a band in, in numbers. That is, um, we we had a, a full-time violinist, a keyboard player, a percussion player. Um, we actually have a dancer. We have we we have quite a stage show. So it's like really turned into a big like performance deal. It's pretty cool, man. Like I I think uh, slower is is going to be kind of the next. That, that's our that's our focus right now. Is slower. Let's put it that way. Do you guys even know what slower is? Shall I explain what slower yes. is? Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. Okay. Slower is actually mower songs that were sort of reworked into a into a slower jazzy loungy style don't confuse that with like an uh, an acoustic version it's not like that it's more like we took we took the songs and, and transposed the the vibe completely and, and made it like sort of like down tempo and just, you know made it real loungy it's fun and we all dress up in suits uh you know keep the mohawks and all the kind of the punk rock heads but at the same time we all come out in suits and just kind of it's a very lounge atmosphere it's fun have you guys talked about maybe trying to take slower out on the road? Slower's been on the road. We've done on some of the last mower tours. We did both. We did, we'd open. We'd actually open earlier in the show doing slower, and then come back out and do mower set with whoever we're touring. So we've we've actually done slower. Yeah. What about like a full blown just slower tour? You know, that's something we've been kind of looking into, and we're we're kind of working on that a as we speak. I'd say, to, to be honest with you, right now what we're trying to do is write. We'd like to get a full slower album. I mean, our last album, Make It a Double, is basically half mower, half slower. And it was sort of our way of introducing uh, the concept of slower to our, our fans and, and whatnot. Now, so, so now that people kind of know what it is, you know, the, ne the next step is really just doing a full-blown album of slower. And, of course, you know, we'll, we'll work on mower as well, but kind of keeping the two uh, entities separate at this point. That's, that's what we're really going to do. And how are you guys coming along with writing stuff for the slower? You know, record? honestly, we uh, we had gone through some member changes a while back. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, we actually have two different guitar players. How much time do you got, Tom? <laughs> yeah, Tom. Uh, we, we actually we have two uh, different guitar players now. One's, one's in mono and one's in slower. So this this way they can stay a little bit more focused on, um, on the task at hand. Um, and, and we're able to sort of go between the two of them here and kind of know what's going on. But uh, with the with the addition of our separate guitar player uh, for slower, we have somebody who is completely focused in the blues and jazz and, and in that world. And in fact, you're probably going to see more original slower songs that aren't even slower songs. Things that didn't even start as slower songs. So I mean, that's kind of what we're doing. Right now. So, with that in mind, you figure we got a lot of material that we're working on, <laughs> a lot of different things going on. So. Now, um, during the summer, you guys. Um, uh, play some of the uh, major festivals that, uh, when we were in tanning. Yeah. <laughs> in 68 degree weather. Between tanning, we, we got to do, uh, we did Uproar Festival. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. did, How did that uh, come about, getting hooked up on that? Jaeger? Yeah, yeah. Adam and, Adam and Rick and Steven at Jaeger Meister took care of us. And, uh, Those guys have been so work. good to us. Throughout Best the sponsor. Ever. Not to mention right. a great shot. <laughs> Yeah. Great shot. We did that. We did uh, Vans Warped Tour, which was cool. We got to see some great, great punk legends play. Yeah, I went to the punk legend stage and awesome. hung out there. It was crazy. It was awesome. Fear. Fear just destroyed it. Adolescence. As always. Angry the Dickies. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good day, for sure. It was a lot of fun. Talk about how you guys ended up on the Warped Tour. How did that go crazy? Well, here's the funny thing. That was funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. We got a call from a buddy who was running sort of a contest at the... Uh, uh, there's a club we play in San Diego. And they're like, look, we don't have this built for Do you guys want to come down and just play for whatever reason? We're like, yeah, we'll do it. 
we won a contest there. We won a, uh, we came in his mower, by the way. This is the funny part. We came in his mower in 710. We came in his mower at, at, at the next level, which is a bigger a bigger venue called Fourth and B in San Diego. And then when we showed up to the work tour, we came in his slower. Because that was the whole purpose. Like, I, you know, mower is not going to enter any contest. <laughs> that's pretty funny. It, it was. When we showed I think, up, I think that's probably the most fun problem we do yeah. at the work tour. We're like, hey, they're like, this isn't five people. We're like, no, it's 13 people. They're yeah, like, they definitely were sure that. Yeah, they weren't exactly all that stoked, but after after we were done playing, they're like, okay, we get it. It's cool, you know what I mean? So, and besides that, slower is more of a warp tour type of crowd. More, more is more metal. Right? Rio was awesome walking yeah. around like 95 degree heat. Black suits. <laughs> we did, we lapped that whole place, like 12 of us. Yeah. It looked like a bunch of gangsters got loose. The venue, the venue where we play is uh, where we played at is is basically bordering Mexico. Like it's like you look over the fence and Mexico's right there. So it's fucking hot. <laughs> That's pretty toasty. No doubt. So uh, a lot of good shows down there this year too. Yeah, that's where we played up for too. So. The Slayer and Megadeth was probably that we play it. That was awesome. The seasons and 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 wrestling. Yeah, that's yeah. Really yeah. Good. can't go wrong with that at all. Oh, no. Not at all. Um. So what's, what's uh, the rest of the year hopefully you guys just going to work on? Working on stuff for the rest of the year, and, and you know, we have some things going on locally, but that's I've really I've got that whole, uh, i got to make toys for Santa Claus <laughs> towards the end of it. Ryan's going to shrink himself real soon. So I, I got that, <laughs> and then uh, well, there's tur i got to base the turkey at the end of November. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a pretty busy end of the year. <laughs> For, yeah. We're having a busy day. Yeah, and we got to dress up tomorrow. And then, yeah, well, there's are treating. Yeah. Yeah. got to get that done. I mean, that's the most important holiday. Got stuck up on, on Snickers. <laughs> we need our Snickers, you know, for when they run out. Reese's. Yeah. Reese's. Where's Chris's? Reese's. 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 Those are our favorites. So, um, when when uh, can, can the fans anticipate maybe getting some, some new mower? I'm sure they're anticipating things right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, we don't have. I have no information to give you as far as when a date's gonna happen. I just it, there's just a lot of work to be done. And the creative I'm, process can be rushed. Yeah. Have you guys recorded anything yet, or have you just been in the writing? Some pre-production stuff. Yeah, a little bit of pre-production. You know, we did we did stuff in hotel rooms on the last tour. Yeah, we did. Which actually kind of turned into a few things. It's great. We've got bed drums. You ever hear a bed drum set? It's like two pillows, a chair, and a bed. It's, it's pretty vicious, actually. Dude, we actually we, we pulled off some shit, yeah. man. We bring bring in the upright, little pig nosing amp, and then the guitar with another little little rolling amp, and then. The drummer comes in with his, uh, with his pedals and bed set. Yeah, the bed set. We're able to work on shit in the hotel rooms all day long. <laughs> we're gonna actually we're gonna we're in talks with uh, talking to Pearl Drums about putting up the bed set. <laughs> but I don't <laughs> think they're too much. So we're, you know we're open. <laughs> Any drum makers out there? You know, you know it's about it's a bunch of pillows. It's good. Perfect for the drummer on the road. Well, once you graduate off the pocket pan set, you gotta do the bed. Well, you set. gotta remember the key set. Too. That's true. If you throw the keys down. You those, it's kind of like sure. a symbol So we've got things in the works. You know, like to branch out. Do you think it's, it's better for a band to go all digital with their Yes. Depends on your market, dude. I want to do uh, vinyl 7 inches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be. Here on out, 45. Yeah, for the, just, uh, to, just to go against the grain. For the antique, the an, antique uh, <laughs> music collector. No, I would say, I would say, for the most part, it, it, it depends on what your market is. If you're in a metal, dude, metal's, metal's a younger, a younger uh, music. So yeah, stick, digital releases are gonna be the best. How many kids do you know have a CD player? They don't have them anymore. So guess what? Fucking digital's the way to go. I you know they're like Polaroids. Yeah. Dude, I went to Walmart. Check this out. I went to Walmart to find a CD player, and they looked at me and they're like, "Why would you want that? Why don't you get an iPod?" I'm like, "Because I don't want to lose an iPod. You know, it's just because I'm, I'm, I'm old school. I'm OG. It costs twenty bucks. You can find it now. God, do you remember there? I want to get a gramophone. Yeah. A gramophone. That's what I'm trying to get. I want to go way OG. Listen to 78s. Remember those? 78s. 78s. That's punk rock. Wow. Actually, that's more big band. <laughs> that's big band punk rock.